In this video, we'll show you how to apply clear XTC extreme temperature coating. Okay, today we're going to talk about the XTC clear. We're going to show you how to apply that. Now, a couple of things. Now, we're on this particular header, we have cast iron gray. You must wait a minimum of eight hours before you put clear on a header or anything, you know, your project. Um, even using the aerosols, I know that the aerosols will say um, 30 minutes in between coats. That doesn't include the clear. Again, the color has to be dry for a minimum of eight hours. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and turn on the exhaust fan, and we're going to show you um, what the difference is. Now, as you can see here, you can see what this looks like. It's more of a, a satin to flat finish, and we're going to make it glossy. Okay, so now you can see that that's really ramping up the, the gloss. Look at that. That is awesome. Okay, so now you're still going to, remember, you're still going to heat treat after you're all done. Now you want a couple of real thin coats of the clear, um, and that will gloss up your project. Now just one short note, that this clear is not designed to go on bare metal. In other words, it needs to be painted before you clear it. All right, that's as simple as that. Okay, we're back. We're going to go ahead and give this a second coat of the XTC Clear. I'm going to turn on the exhaust. And again, we're just going to give it a light coat. Just like so. I just want to kind of show you guys the surface. I mean, look at how nice that looks. And when you bake it, it'll stay that way. And you can watch the separate video on how to bake XTC. Thanks for watching, and we hope you find these money-saving and time-saving tips useful.